when I get on the phone with clients and they've seen my content, that conversation is a lot different. They feel like they know me. They feel like, hey, I remember that post you did that really resonated with me. They mention it, they say that. And the result is faster sales cycle, higher revenue per client. We have better rapport. It's usually a better fit. For you on LinkedIn, who's put out more content than than nearly anyone on the planet, what are some of the things that that you think about when you see people that underutilize the platform who are not posting content? Because 99.99% of people are not using it for its full power. The reason why people don't use it in the main is cultural, it's conditioning, it's what we're used to doing. The way the world tends to see LinkedIn is that's the business platform, everyone's got their resume on it, and that's kind of like your Rolodex. And the reason why is because if you go back what, 12, 13 years or whatever, way back to when it started, that's all it was. Mm. Different, uh, conversely, Facebook was where you shared pictures and you engage and you talk and you post content and so on. LinkedIn is for sharks, also known as, as recruiters, or just to kind of have, here's my placeholder for me on this company. And that culture um, hasn't changed that much yet. The reason why is because it wasn't like even 2017, it wasn't until August 2017, we could even put a video up. It was like corporate white paper, status update maybe, and no one was leveraging it for content. It wasn't seen as a social platform. So it's just not what people do. But the irony is insane because not only is everyone in business, especially business to business, but everyone you will do business with is on there. But more importantly, the context is more business focused. It stuns me when you have a B2B social media strategy that focuses on, say, Facebook, which can work when you're ignoring LinkedIn, which is the playground for it in the sense that the audience is there. And the thing I would invite people to to visualize is if you imagine LinkedIn being like a full auditorium, like the, the seats are packed, like everyone who could make decisions is there, but no one is on stage. There's this spotlight, no one there. Because relatively speaking, as you said, 99.9% of people don't post content. To go and stand in the spotlight is to go and court immense amount of free uh, distribution of your content in front of the right eyeballs, again, with the right context. It doesn't mean that people are there with credit cards in hand, but they are looking at you through the eyes of business opportunities and collaborations and working together. So when I talk about my craft through content, and I don't, you know, you don't have to go deep and vulnerable and share your family background or anything. You just simply share what you're maybe great at, and that can perform well enough, absolutely. You get the right eyeballs, because even though the same eyeballs as is on Facebook, the optics are different. The, the right eyeballs looking at you and thinking, this might be quite useful right now because I'm viewing it on a break while sitting at my work desk and thinking about you know, how this person might plug into what we do. So the context is there for you. The buyers are there for you. But what your job is to do, to do is to step into the limelight. It's scary. It was scary for me because I had this legacy of previous work colleagues, clients, and so on, who were gonna see the content I wrote. But that just served as a great way to make sure I was um, having quality control, not putting out rubbish. But the thing to remember is like, if I can if I can court such a strong volume of attention, because most people aren't on stage, well, why wouldn't I want to at least try and do that? And the combination of frequency, and consistency, especially in staying in lane so people are clear what you do, it really is a valuable play. And you nailed it, Brian, because what we're talking there about is warming an audience. And there's no business out there that wouldn't prefer those inbound leads or the people they speak to to say, yeah, I saw you, or I'm, I'm reaching out because I'm keen on, I'm just like, you keep popping up in my feed saying the right kind of things, rather than, Go on then, I've got five minutes. Why Why should I listen to you? Which is what I had to experience for many years in the early 2000s. So I, I think the logic's there, but what it requires is for businesses to take it a little more serious, now it's 2021, than assigning it as an additional task to someone who has a different job in the, in the company. It should be, there should be a department doing it because 
well, for me, my, me and my team, the translation into fields has been immense uh, as a result of taking that, that part seriously. And it has led me to now do zero outbound because, because this play works well. Again, the context is there. Uh, so, and, and the stage is empty. So with that opportunity, it's madness not to jump in. Oh, 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 oh,